It's Friday, October 20th, 2023. Supposed to get up to 102 degrees today. I'm heading downtown to attend the star unveiling for actor and comedian Leslie Jordan. Is there anyone out there that doesn't love Leslie Jordan? I sure loved him, and I don't know anyone who didn't love him. He died one year ago on October 24th, so the star ceremony is taking place just four days before the one-year anniversary of his death. I apologize in advance for this October weather. Welcome to downtown Palm Springs. It's October. <laughs> we are so excited to honor actor, comedian, storyteller, Leslie Jordan. With the 462nd star in the Palm Springs Walk of Stars, sponsored by donations through Del Shores Foundation. And now it is my pleasure to get this show on the road because I know how hot we are. I am going to introduce your host, Del Shores. Del Shores is a multi-talented artist renowned for his contributions to film, theater, and television. His creative force behind noteworthy films like Sorted Lives, oh yeah, Southern Baptist Sissies, a very special Sorted Wedding, along with the series Sorted Lives, the series. As a writer and producer, he left his mark on shows such as one of my favorite, Queer as Folk, collaborating with a diverse array of gifted actors, including Leslie Jordan, which he considers a friend, a muse, a confidant, and a brother. Please welcome to the podium, Del Shores. Thank you so much. Well, shit. <laughs> Here we are in the heat celebrating the amazing Leslie Jordan, Leslie Allen Jordan, and he's not here. But I'm not going to be sad, and I'm not going to speak for Leslie, but I don't think he would want you to be sad either. I think he would want us to celebrate, and I think he would want us to rejoice, and I think he would want us to remember his light and his love and all of the laughs that he gave every one of us here in Palm Springs and worldwide. Uh, I love Leslie so much. He was a, uh, you know, I cricket, his sister is here today and uh, yes, uh, and uh, cricket reminded me uh, recently, she said, you know, when we had lunch, you once said that you were closer to Leslie than your own brother. Um, I hope my brother doesn't see this. Uh, but uh, it's true, because Leslie and I came from the same dirt. You know, he was a, he sat in those, those Baptist pews in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I was at Winters, Texas in those pews, and we both uh, grabbed careers because of damage. Um, he was my muse, and I, one of the things that, that broke my heart when he passed away, besides the fact that I couldn't text him any time that I passed something that I thought was funny, uh, was that I knew that I wouldn't be able to write for him again. And uh, we collaborated so well together, whatever I wrote, he heard exactly the way I wrote it. So, by the way, on a side note, I just love that there's a trailer here. <laughs> so today, and I think it's, it's very fitting that his star is looking at Marilyn's ass. Uh, somehow, I think he had something to do with that. And uh, I, wanted, I wanted to tell y'all how this all started. Um, Leslie, uh, right, right after the pandemic, he and Mike were here in Palm Springs, and Mike, I think you filmed that video in front of my star over there, and I wanted to read to you, if I can get my phone to work now, um, what uh, Leslie said, uh, because he was a little bitter. Um, he said, um, he, he stopped at my star and did one of his Instagram posts and he said, you know, my dear friend Dale Shores wrote a movie called Sorted Lives and I had a big part in it. 
I played a Tammy Wynette obsessed drag queen who gets put in a mental hospital and I got a lot of attention. But anyhow, I'm just wondering, why does he have a star and I don't? <laughs> and then he poured, he spilled tea on my star that said, oops, and he's walked right to camera. And goes, Anybody got a jackhammer? <laughs> So, when he passed away, uh, my friend Jeremy and Emerson and a few other people said to me, he needs to have a star. So I reposted that with a little message from my own, of my own, and I said, y'all, Palm Springs, it's time. And Evan reached out to me and said, yes, it is time, and he gave me all the, the rules on how to nominate, how much it cost, and my friend Stuart Bell said, let's do this through the Del Shores Foundation, and so many of you contributed to make this happen today. So thank you for that. I appreciate this, this city so, so much, and uh, our final speech is from Leslie Jordan. I realize how hard goodbyes can be. So to all my dear friends, this is not goodbye forever. It's only goodbye for now. Thank you for helping me live a joyful life. ceremony. I'm walking back to the car now. Jim didn't come with me today because he knew it was going to be really hot. He's a lot smarter than I am, <laughs> but I would have come no matter what the temperature was. But for Jim to stand in the hot sun for a couple of hours would have been a bit much. He doesn't like to, to stand for a long time, and especially when it's, 100, when it's over 100 degrees out. So if you're a Leslie Jordan fan, please share your memories of Leslie Jordan in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>